Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Just another quick video here. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the, not the Waterdeep Dragon Heist book itself. Um, I, my feelings on it are still kind of mixed and uh, I'm not sure if you kind of, if anyone is interested in hearing sort of my extended thoughts on the book so far, um, but there are some things I need to go back and sort of re- Reread and rewatch, and uh, just make sure that I didn't get some information or details about the book's announcement wrong uh, before I sort of give my my final opinion. But it's something that again I can sort of discuss some of the concerns that I have with the with the adventure, some of the things that I feel don't live up to the expectations that I had for it. Uh, but that's not what I'm here for today. Today I want to look at the map that comes inside of the book itself. So I already got the map taken out um, and um, it's one of those ones with like the perforated edges and traditionally I've had a lot of issues getting those kinds of maps out of books without them ripping and tearing. <coughs> so the, the method I actually use now and uh, I wanted to record it on screen but it was just kind of awkward to do that with uh, the camera as well. But I take just a, a, one of my DM screens and uh, I just kind of push it against the very uh, edge of the, the book where, you know, the on the other side of the perforations and then I just sort of pull up against it and uh, that way it kind of prevents the tearing and you just sort of have to take your time. <coughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, like I said, I just want to have a look at the, uh, at the map, so we're just going to move the book out of the way. So here we go, this is a double-sided map. So, um, one of the sides is the DM's map and one of the sides is the player's map. And I suspect that the DM's map and the player's map are going to look a little bit more filled in than the Tomb of Annihilation one, which had, like, just a huge part of the map was just a white blank hex grid uh, sort of thing. So here we have the DM's map. So I'm just going to lift the camera up here. <coughs> and uh, actually, let's rotate it around. So you've got like the, uh, the field ward, sea ward, north ward, so uh, it gives some pretty decent information, it also gives some locations on the map, uh, you got the Halls of Justice, uh, Blackstaff Tower, uh, the Yawning Portal, so it's just sort of your, your basic overhead uh, map of the city, and it even says that that is the uh, the DM's map there. We just got sort of the uh, you know stuff outside of the city walls, like the it looks like the farmland stuff like that. So pretty nice looking there, and I like the colors. I like a lot of the the details here. All right, and then you have the player's map, which has the uh, huh, which has a fancy little border going around it which is kind of cool and it's basically the same thing but it doesn't include as many uh, locations so oddly enough it doesn't actually show where the awning portal is on here which is again kind of kind of interesting but you've got just the different locations, the different wards more or less, like I said, it looks uh, pretty much the same. So, uh, one thing I will say is I like this map a lot better than the one that was included in um, in the Tomb of Annihilation, mainly because the player's map isn't largely blank. So, again, like really just nice uh, as far as that goes. Uh, and for the rest of the map, like I said, I actually like the, the coloration. Um, I like the, the details. Now, what I want to do and a separate video that I might end up doing is comparing the map uh, for Waterdeep in this campaign book to other maps of Waterdeep and just see if anything's really changed or you know if they've sort of altered the layout of the city kind of thing. So it'd be interesting to see just if it's changed over the years. I have a uh, an advanced D and D book that or a box set that has a bunch of maps for Waterdeep. Uh, ten different maps actually, so I don't know if I want to do the whole thing uh, as far as that goes, but they do have like one sort of poster map uh, kind of thing that I wouldn't mind uh, comparing with um, 
with this as well as the, uh, it wasn't a physical map I don't think, but there was a map printed in the 3.5 Waterdeep City of Splendors book. So anyway, like I said, just a, just a quick video, just again show off sort of what the map looks like. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of really small text though, so it uh, might be a little hard on the eyes. Uh, depending, but still, like I said, a pretty cool map, and the fact that there's a map included is something that, once again, um, I'm totally on board with. Uh, it's always been one of my common complaints about a lot of the other uh, campaign books that have come out, is that they didn't include maps. Um, and this is actually the, only the third one to include them. Um, so the other two were Ravenloft, or uh, Curse of Strahd, and uh, Tomb of Annihilation. So anyway, uh, just kind of cool to have those. So. Uh, like I said, just a really quick video about that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, like I said, if you want me to record sort of my extended thoughts um, and some of my concerns with um, the actual adventure, structure of the adventure, and um, how I sort of remember the adventure being marketed uh, for uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist, let me know, and uh, I'll certainly do that. I had actually recorded a video for that, but a significant portion of it, the video file just was corrupted, which is something that doesn't happen very often. But it always seems to happen when I have a situation where I'm trying to get a lot of my thoughts just sort of off, you know, things off my chest. And uh, it was like a 15 minute part of a video that's just completely gone. So anyway, uh, so let me know if you actually want to hear that before I get to the finalized review. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time. Take care.